happened on my life. You know, I was windsurfing at this moment. It was during the summer in uh, France, and uh, my instructor of uh, windsurf said, "Hey, you have to try that. It's really cool." And we try it, and for me and my brother, it was like crazy you know like something with the wind and it can be at this moment it was quite a little bit maybe dangerous and so that make me more happy because okay so we we start to do it uh, at 15 years old something like that with my instructor of uh, windsurf yeah he, so we start together and uh, me after I, I start to do it really more than him because he's a skier, so he's staying on the mountain. He's not too much close to ocean. He's more mountain boy. Right. Yeah. Is he your older brother or younger brother? Yeah, older, two years than me. But okay. uh, we are really, really close. Like he's my brother, but also my best friend. So. Yeah. You ship? I if we get up the stairs, uh, then I don't want to be like up there. But me too. I say that at the first, and uh, I don't know what happened, but I already. You already eat? Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Freaking hot. So what are you doing here? We are training for the for the cardio. I miss it a little bit on the water, so we did that with my friends and uh, like uh, in frequency, how you call that? Uh, what? Frequency? No. In frequency? Interval. Oh, interval training. Interval, interval training. Yeah. Interval training. yeah. yeah. I, since six years, I kite a lot, but uh, I have a lot of different life also before than kites, and so one of my passion is to make clothes. So I, I create a lot of different clothes. I was also, I did some sculpture also, but in welding, you okay. know? and I like to mix the element together and make like a shimmer. You understand Shim shimmer? No. <laughs> okay, it's okay. <laughs> it doesn't matter. <laughs> so the clothes, so you, you like designing clothes? Yeah, I design and I and I make myself, you know, circus show. Mm -hmm. I meet that and I say, wow, it's so magic. People are magic there because they they can create something with nothing. Like like uh, when we are child also, you know. And I fall in love with, of this world. So I say, okay, I want to become, uh, I want to work on, with that kind of world but I don't know actually which one and so I say okay I want maybe become a customer I don't know the way the translation of customer you know it's, it's when you make clothes for for the show so I start to study I study two or three years and I became a customer right. and after I work for a company different company and uh, also for the theater for all different universe and after for the circus life and uh, so I make my clothes, I make my design also. And when I start to, okay, maybe I live this life, I want maybe kite. So I live all this life and I start to kite. So since I kite, I make my own clothes. Okay. Because I don't have, I can't work uh, anymore for a company because I don't have any time for that. My time is for the kite. So like uh, I need to create. <laughs> if I don't create, I become crazy. So sure. I do it on my, uh, myself on my uh, workshop so so the, the first I start in uh, kites in speed so I start to really go the faster that I'm done and kind I do that two years or maybe no, two years and at the end it was the last competitors world championship in uh, states in Marta's vineyard and so I was there and I was thinking also there to make some movie 
to maybe try to do the quota because I was speed but I also really love it to go high so jump with my kite and make some loop and crazy thing like that because I love stormy condition so when I was there I said okay I I'm, I'm done with the speed, I'm going to make the world uh, championship, so after that I won't pass another thing and I find a new goal, it was to do the quota. And I see that no girls did it. I think one girl did it, but really on the past, I forget, I'm sorry, I forget her name, but uh, it was not in Blueberg, it was uh, when it was uh, in... Uh, I don't know, <laughs> but a girl already did it, but really on the past, at the beginning of uh, the King of the Year. But in Blueberg, I think I'm the first. And so I said, okay, I want to go in this kind of event. And I didn't understand why there are not uh, a thing for girls there. I see it's only boys and I didn't understand why there are no girls there also. So I said, okay, I'm going to go there and see by myself what's happening there. So I buy my first ticket and I did my first movie uh, for the quota, for the selection. And I went here. So when I arrived there, I really thinking that a lot of girls send it like me, you know, and... Uh, so I, I write two days, I uh, make a big crash, so it was not too bad, but uh, I make a, a crash that I didn't manage to kite uh, after during two weeks. So I was waiting, but during these two, two days, some people watched me and I realized that they never see a girl send it like that. And so I was surprised because everybody come and say, it's you, the girl? I say, what, what do you speak about? <laughs> I don't understand. And I realized that because they never see a girl send it like that. So I became famous for that in Caton. And uh, after my two weeks of waiting for my new recover, I start again to kite one week and I did it again. <laughs> so after one week of I kite, I kite. And the last day, I remember it was the day of Christmas. It was like a normal year event, but finally the event canceled. But I just looping, 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 and the last one, I don't know what happened, but the kite doesn't catch me, and I uh, crash hard on the water, but on the board. So I, I remember I was really painful on the double knee, the both. So the same than before, and the another one. And uh, at this moment, it was bad because nobody saw me, nobody come to help me. I was alone on the water, I was really painful. And so I managed to arrive on the beach, try to take my kite, walk, because I was really far, walk again, arrive in the Mystic. I was really sad and I, so I, I rest. And the day after I see the, that I didn't manage to walk. So it was the end of my season. I didn't manage to kite anymore after five months. But it was my first uh, time in Captain. And uh, the first time where I put my uh, video entries, and I had a lot of success at this moment because I, I think I was the first girl to try to put an entries video also. So it was my first attempt and uh, the years after I didn't do it because I was still in general, uh, my knee was not... I prefer training to don't put my entries video and do something bad, I don't know. So I just came for training and this year I put it again my video and this year this year's I'm select. Are you excited? Yeah, yeah, I'm excited. Yeah, yeah, finally, you know, it's when everybody has a goal. You have to have a goal in your life. So you choose a goal, and when you have all the way for, for arriving this goal, it can be long or it can be fast. It depends on the people. And me, that I finally arrived at this goal, and now I'm going to pass it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to send it the maximum I can. And after, I'm going to find another one. But for me, like I already tell you it's like I already won you know my goal is was to be in and so now nah, it's okay I mean I can relax
kites, it's uh, core kite boarding. So I start with them like uh, four or five years ago with speed first. And now since I try to get in uh, the quota, they help me really more. So they give me my gear and I really enjoy to ride, ride with this gear. And uh, also I have another sponsor. It's uh, I meet uh, last year, two years ago, uh, someone in Pacalolo. You make everywhere there. And uh, it was his name it was Pierre Sidonidos and his uh, management of a big society in uh, France. We call that Aneo Conseil. He helped another society to grow up and uh, he have really good advice. So when I don't know what I want to do, it or something uh, all the time, if I'm lost, I, I know I can call him and he give me really good advice. And he helped me to come in captain also for my flight and everything. So I'm really, really proud to represent them. So, and with the red suit and harness, I'm with the ride engine and I'm really proud also to be on the team, on this team. We've been here for King of the Air, third time we've been here on Kite Beach, and we're in for a classic. I will notify you when the DJ arrives. King of the Air, King of the Air, has the third of your party. If you're just arriving, you want to get your hand on some of the windows and windows from the kiosk and the parking lot. Guys, this is the only place in the world that you'll be able to get this kit. So I actually think it's super cool uh, that Angie Anjali is joining this comp. I think it's a first. I'm pretty sure it's a first, even though she might think different. Uh, first girl in this competition and I couldn't think of a better girl to do it. So many times we, she's been on a core photo shoot with us and uh, we just gave her a set of short lines. Never written short lines before in her life and all of a sudden that kite is like down there. And she's like, oh, oh, I did not expect that. <laughs> so. Uh, yeah, hope, I think a lot of the guys are going to be like that. Huh? I did not expect that. She's going to rock it. Super cool that she's in. So it's good to have uh, Angeli in, um, in the King of the Air. She's the only woman, and I think uh, she's uh, one of the only women that can actually handle these kind of conditions. So um, yeah, definitely uh, all respect to her killing it out there. And hopefully she's going to pass a couple of rounds. I'm very curious to see her out there. Okay, so just for you, those of you, some of you, have completed a lot. Because as before, you can check in three years before you have to be at the water. So
big day. Yeah, today is the big day. I'm feeling really well because I sleep awesome. And the condition was really quite, that, like uh, our like really strong. So I'm gonna use my eight. It's one of my favorite kites, so I'm really happy. So you feeling good? I'm feeling really good. Yeah, I'm gonna do my best and send it to you. Yeah, thank you.
So it's a couple of days after the Red Bull King of the Year. How are you feeling? Nah, I'm feeling, I'm feeling good. Yeah, uh, that is finished. It's like it's done. I can pass another thing now, you know. Do something else. Yeah, sure. Uh, what happened? Tell us, tell us what happened. Round one, you went uh, into round one and heat six. Yeah, so one one, uh, I'm feeling really good at the first, and just before to start, I start to trace full a little bit because I didn't really find the right kite. I was with the 8 and with the 8 I feeling that I was not enough power so quickly before to start I take the 9 and it was maybe too close I don't know that stressed me a little bit and after I start so my first jump was the best was just uh, the best one and after I don't know I don't know what happened but I was like a beginner on the on the water <laughs> so the rest of that round you struggled yeah all the rest the I rest did uh, I did bad I think I really have to to work on my timing on the water also. Choose really the good kicker, the right kicker, and just focus more on my uh, on the, the thing to go high, then prove something, you know, I don't know. Sure. Yeah. And uh, round two, you got injured. What, what happened? Uh, so round two, um, I take the eight after, but the eight was too, too small, so I didn't manage to get enough high. And I make a kite loop late back roll, and I don't don't know what happened, but the catch the kite doesn't catch me, and I crash hard on the on the board, and uh, that uh, cut me the respiration, the breath, breathing. Yeah, it, it's so, knocked your wind out. Yeah, it make me a little bit uh, out, you know, like I don't know how many seconds, but uh, and when I re I start to breathe in again, I feeling better, but I feeling pain uh, all my legs and all my foot, and I say okay. I have to continue, <laughs> so I continue. I try to do a kite loop board off, but I fall. And after I see that uh, during this crash, I, w I was cutting my foot. Uh, it, it was a bad laceration, I saw it, and, and everyone who's watched this video has seen it because yeah. I filmed it. Yeah, it's uh, not so bad, it can be worse it all can the time. Be, it can be worse, but, uh, uh, but, it, but it was enough to stop you kiting. Yeah, it was enough to stop kiting, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, what's next for you? I don't know exactly and I think I don't want to know, you know, it's uh, so I'm gonna just go back uh, at home and uh, finish my truck and uh, drive uh, for more adventure, but I don't know exactly. So we're gonna have to follow your social media to find out when yeah. and if you're gonna be back in King of the Air. Yeah, is that. <laughs> I All can't right. tell you right now what I'm gonna do. It's, I'm gonna follow uh, the flow. Fantastic. Yeah. Well, it was lovely meeting you and we wish you the yeah, best Yeah, really, uh, thank you for everything also. It was really cool. Yeah. <laughs> It's my neighbor. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers.